Oh, what to do? It's your boy Merle back again with another reaction. Before you hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all of my social media in the description box. Also, check out my new song on the set, streaming now on all platforms. Link also in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today we got Aaliyah and The Weeknd with Poison. This is off of Aaliyah's like posthumous album that her label is putting together with like all these quote unquote hot features and they're trying to revamp like some leftover vocals that she has. I don't really know how I'm feeling about it because I'm like, Aaliyah's been gone so long and I think we just are so in love with the music that she put out when she was here. It's kind of like, just let it go. But I love Aaliyah, so I'm excited to hear what her and The Weeknd got. Yeah, let's check it out. I don't know what to expect. Okay, I mean, she sounds good. I can't really tell if like that is the the original key that she probably sang in, or if they pitched up the vocal a little bit to to match. Um, but I think she sounds good. I just think overall, like the, I mean, so far, the production or whatever is just like late, or it just like leaves a lot to be desired. Like it's not exciting. It's like well. Uh, I'm like, if you want to do it, do it, you know? In the weekend of all people on a Leah record, he sounds good though. Okay, man, the mixing or something, especially on this next verse, is all, like. You see, I can tell they probably didn't have a lot of material to work with. Like, they're stretching these vocals. These little clips and vocals that she had. Then, oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, they definitely could have left this alone. I can see why I heard nobody's talking about this. Like, you would think everyone would be going ham for this. But, going hard for this. But, no one has talked about this. I haven't heard no one. Like... I see why. It's just like, eh. And this is the first song they went with, too. I don't like the, the background. Him in the background. It's like, I don't, I don't mind him on the hook. Like, I think if this was like the weekend song, it will be, it'll be all right. I think them trying to pass it off as a Leah song and in like 2021, 2022 type of vibe. It's just not really giving what I was hoping it was going to give. Like, like to me, this is just like an okay record. Is that it? Like she has no more vocal? Oh no. What 
that was Aaliyah and the Weekend Poison. They could have kept that. I don't even know what to expect from the rest of these records. I'm hoping, like, I think maybe Drake, Chris Brown are on the project, too. So I'm hoping that those songs are a little bit more popping. That, mm-mm, like... From the mixing to the like she sounded good vocally but like i don't i can't tell if they pitched up her voice a little bit i don't know like just it was mixed weird and then the weekend on i don't really care for the weekend and Aaliyah, but this was like a cool weekend song if she wasn't on this like i don't know they doing my girl dirty i feel like just let it go let her rest um, but yeah, if you like that, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all of my social media in the description box, and I'll see you on the next one.